I want to be like a horse who's getting like reined in. Mm -hmm. Rah, you know? Let's serve up some news sunny side up. Food and Wine reports that the site Bonus Finder is looking for someone to travel the country's baseball stadiums and taste test America's most delicious hot dog. You can apply online through tomorrow and get $500 plus all travel, baseball, and hot dog expenses paid. Ideal candidates will be able to expertly review hot dogs based on some key criteria. Ross, what would your criteria be for a hot dog? Not even listening to you, just think about how I have to call in sick for the next two weeks, because I got a new career change, thanks so much. Jimmy, are you a hot dog fan, baseball game fan, any fan? I'm a hot dog fan when I'm at baseball games, mm -hmm. and that's about it. I can't really think of any other occasions where I'm like, I need a hot dog. When can you ask the person you're seeing to delete their dating app? I mean, how juicy is this? This is literally modern romance. Absolutely, and you know what? It's it's like a conversation you have to have. I had a friend, true story, she was dating somebody on one of the dating apps, and then she it was like kind of getting serious. So she was like, I'm gonna go on the dating app and get off now. And when she logged in, she saw that he <laughs> was still on and had just updated all of his pictures with pictures that she had taken of him. Oh my God. Uh, and I was like, she was just mortified. I'm like, well, didn't you have a conversation with him about, are we doing this now? And the answer was no, she didn't. So this just comes down to communication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of layers. Well, Vice actually uh, said, when can I ask the person I'm dating to delete Tinder or you know any dating app? And they say, when this question pops up in your head, maybe it's time to have that larger conversation about defining the relationship. And it's not about just saying no to other people, but yes to the one that you're with. Entertainment Tonight reports that Priyanka Chopra Jonas and Nick Jonas have teamed up with Give India for an urgent fundraiser. And they announced the news on Instagram. Please take a look at this. Even as the medics learn more about the virus, the threat continues to loom. Over the past few weeks, millions of Indians unleashed the power uh, of social media to do good, and that is so inspiring. I'm taking your lead and carrying it forward. We're appealing to you all to contribute towards the healthcare system, which is at a breaking point right now. So you can go to Priyanka's Instagram, and her Instagram directs you to giveindia.org. You don't have to donate a ton of money. Like, every single dollar helps. They need the help right now. So uh, we're sending all of our love out to uh, everyone in India. Molly, our first story is about someone near and dear to your heart, May, Hillary Duff's one-month-old baby. Yeah, look at this. Yahoo Life reports that Hillary brought May to beat Mandy Moore's newborn, Gus and they had a blast. And I know that you and Hillary, of course, you're, you're besties from younger. And But there's an interesting story. You went to go help with baby May and ended up staying for what, like? A month. A month you went a to month. go help. What is that like? You did, she just needed your help and you were there? Actually, um, I what, we weren't sure when she was going to be born. May, not Hillary, we knew that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I, so I planned to go out to LA for vaguely a month and to see when the baby came. And I, I mean, this is her third, so I really wanted to be an extra set of hands. Yeah. And I'm her other daughter's godmother, so I was just, I mean, I got to do bath time and bedtime, and then wake up time <laughs> is the best. They're so tender in the mornings when they wake up, come on. How did it feel to hold that little tiny baby? She is edible. And she was so, 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 so cuddly too. She loved to be held, and Banks, Banks was like that too. Mashable reports that Vibes <laughs> is an app feature designed to help users get better matches. So it quizzes you on different types of pop culture and personality questions to get a better feel for how you vibe and match up to others. For example, here's one. Are you a 20 minutes early or a 10 minutes late kind of person? I would have to put 20 minutes early because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's gotten so much better this year. Can you imagine how bad it used to be? I'm working on it. This is great because like you it's a way to sort of get to know somebody like you said more than just like not, you know, a picture and a swipe. 
Okay, and today it's a mask that literally blew me away. And of course, the second I saw the results, I thought, I gotta bring this to the news desk and the doggy bag. So it's Mario Badescu's drying mask. One of the reasons that I loved it is I have visible pores. And there's a lot of, you know, controversy. They say once you got an open pore, that thing ain't ever closing. So what do you do from there? This has got sulfur and zinc oxide and it gets to work on that surface and it pulls impurities from your skin and it's got a calamine and cucumber so it feels very soothing. But I'm telling you, my pores were visibly gone. You know who else uses this? Who? Ross Matthews. No! Drew Barry, I really do. I'm a mask for mask kind of guy. This one is so good. Um, all the products of Mario Badescu are amazing. Yeah, it tightens up. <laughs> it's amazing. No, I, I, I am blown away. I've been looking for like a new brand of masks. I want like, I want someone to take my face and just yep. <laughs> snap it back. Oh, I didn't know I was, what is that? Okay, okay, tightening. Just, I want like, I want to be like a horse who's getting like reined in, mm -hmm. you know?